eta. So we're explaining on the map about 67% of what we're seeing occur based on these values that we chose. So we can start to see how you can get some validity to the data to the analysis that we're creating. Now, believe me, this is just the first step of an analysis that we're not going to complete in this demonstration. This is just the really the, the beginning of, of an investigation of this data set, but you can already see this types of validity that we can add to uh, to our map and hopefully making better decisions for us off those uh, that data that we're that we're creating. So here in this analysis, we see the results of our ordinary least squares adjustment. So we see the military bases represented by tanks here, and we see these red, blue, and yellow uh, uh, polygons on our map. And here is the, uh, the, the symbology for that. So the areas in red are areas that are predicting to be a much higher number of foreclosures based on the data that we have provided. Areas in blue are, are uh, predicting to be much less foreclosures happening there based on that same data. So let's bring up our hotspot surface that we ran earlier and turn it on. And you can see it's kind of saying the exact same thing that our hotspot and our point cluster showed in the beginning. So I don't know that it's really saying there is any correlation between uh, foreclosures and the distance of military bases, but it does happen to indicate that, yeah, based on the variables that we picked, there is something going on with those particular values. So, and that could be very helpful. That could drive our analysis into another direction or help us to help people in that area via education or, or assistance and somehow in, in trying to put a stop on, on the foreclosures because it, it does have a, a pretty significant negative impact on the area as a whole. Now, typically analysis or results like the ones we just uh, generated stop at the desk. Someone will generate those results and maybe report to somebody else. Well, now we've got a number of simple web mapping applications that can easily disseminate information. And here we see the service that we just uh, executed. Uh, we can see those results on a web map. So other people quickly and easily can see the data that you're generating, and it's not just stuck behind your desk. So here we can turn on the number of foreclosures. We can actually see those points uh, put across. We see the results of our ordinary least squares adjustment, and we can see charting and demographic information for property values around the area. So it's very important to uh, to get these this information that we generate from these uh, from these advanced analysis and planning tools out to a wider audience so other people, other decision making, makers can see this information and act on it and it just doesn't get stuck behind your desk. So what you've just seen is, is, a, is a complete workflow from, workflow from not only starting uh, from scratch with Model Builder and stepping through the creation of a model and the benefits of using that model, but we've also seen the execution of some fairly advanced um, a spatial analysis uh, and the dissemination of those those results to a broader audience via a web mapping application.